Donald Trump, he was on Capitol Hill today meeting with House uh, Republicans who are now only one seat away from reaching that magic number of 218. It is, is expected they will have 222, 223 in the, at the end of the day, officially retaining control of the chamber. After a big endorsement from Donald Trump, while well, House Republicans then unanimously backed Mike Johnson to remain as Speaker of the House in January, he joins us now. Uh, Mr. Speaker, thank you. We appreciate it. So, the polls were showing there was a 70 to 80 percent chance you would lose the majority in the House. That did not happen. Mm -hmm. You have a majority, albeit, again, a small majority, but you have a bigger problem, and that is you will fairly soon be losing. Well, you already lost Matt Gates because he resigned today, but at least Stefanik, Mike Waltz. Uh, how do you handle that so that at no point does control of the House get into the hands of the Democrats? Yeah, it's a great problem to have, Sean. We have an embarrassment of riches in the House Republican Conference. Lots of talented people uh, who are, are very attuned to the America First agenda, and they can serve the country well in other capacities. But I've told President Trump, enough already. You've got to give me some relief. I've got to maintain this majority. And he understands that, of course. We've been talking about it hourly almost every day. Um, I, I think we're going to be settled. The numbers that you just projected there, I think, will be the reality, and we will have the majority. I think these seats, Matt's, for example, his resignation today was to help us, because it starts the clock under Florida state law. It's about an about a, um, eight-week process to fill that seat. So if we do this quickly, and I've already called uh, Governor DeSantis to ask him to kickstart this thing, uh, we could have that seat filled by January 3rd when the new Congress begins. So that would be one seat replaced almost would it, immediately. All three of those that you mentioned, beneficial? all three of my friends, all come from deep red districts. Would it, would it be beneficial if Mike Waltz of Florida did the same thing? Well, I'm going to talk about uh, with him uh, tonight about that. Um, the timing matters. We need to stagger these things. He's going to fill a very important position for the president and for the country, and we don't want to delay that. And he doesn't have to be appointed by the Senate, his position. So um, we'll be able to, to fig figure that out. I know Governor DeSantis is going to be very busy um, working on all these matters, um, and the one you discussed in the previous segment, uh, filling the Senate seat. So uh, he'll be an active participant. We'll get this done. We're, we're assured to have Republicans reelected in all these seats. And we'll work with a smaller majority for, of one or two for um, the amount of time that we have to. But we're going to be very aggressive, Sean. We're going to move the America First agenda for the American people uh, beginning on day one. And we have all this work stacked up, and we're ready to go. Let, let's talk a little bit about Elise Stefanik in New York. How does the process work there? Well, Elise has a, a similar situation under New York state law. The governor there, Hochul, um, can't play uh, games with this. It's about a 80-day process, roughly. Um, and she comes from a very safe red district as well, so we'll get a strong Republican there. The county uh, chairs are already working to come up with a consensus on who they'll put forward as the party's nominee, and we'll get that done. President Trump's already committed. If necessary, he'd go up there and do a rally. I mean, we, we will get this, this job done. But Elise is going to do an extraordinary job at the U.N. as the ambassador there. She's a strong voice. She's Harvard-educated, uh, really smart, very uh, sh sharp and unflappable, and she will advance America's agenda at the U.N. In again. That's a really important position, so I'm delighted she got it. So it almost sounds like it would be better if she did, if she were to resign sooner than later also. Let, let me ask you, uh, had you have, tell us first about the meeting with President Trump today, where, where he endorsed you, and have you had any conversation with the new Senate Majority Leader, John Thune, uh, who outwardly was very supportive of the Trump agenda, and do you believe that the House, the Senate, and the President are all going to be on the same page, because in my view, in my mind, you have between 18 months and 24 months to get a, a, a lot of this agenda through. You're exactly right. And the atmosphere here on the Hill is one of, of euphoria. I mean, the Republican Party is united and energized like I've never seen it, uh, Sean. Uh, I did. We had a great time with President Trump this morning. He came and visited with the House Republican Conference, as you saw, and he gave a ringing endorsement of me and our leadership team. And that was very helpful. The unity uh, aspect of this is very important because we have to work together. I did call Leader Thune today and congratulate him on his victory. We talked for a, a short period of time about the agenda going forward. 
forward and how we have to do this in a bicameral fashion. We need the House Republicans and the Senate Republicans to be in lockstep on exactly the same page, and we will be. And he's excited about that. He's committed to the America First agenda as well. And we, uh, we laughed about how our, our home uh, cities and, and counties, his county, my parish, uh, uh, voted overwhelmingly for President Trump in a landslide. And um, our people and all the American people really desperately want and need and deserve this, and we're going to deliver. Well, I'm encouraged by his words and everyone else's words, but you know what? I'm a trust but verify guy, and I want to see that agenda <laughs> adopted and, and adopted as quickly as possible. Uh, Speaker Johnson, yes. thank you. We appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.